Now I know some of you guys out there have experienced opposite day before. Well today in Minecraft we show you what mobs would look like and how they would behave if they observed opposite day as well. But naturally we start opposite day with the creeper. The one and only. But opposite creepers, they don't explode. They fill dirt into the world. So instead of craters, they leave piles of it. And it's still pretty dangerous. We've got one right over here. He's even opposite colored. Hi little guy, even- Oh, you Hey! What? Uh, really? I mean, I guess I just read it on the sign, so I shouldn't act too surprised, but it's always a shock to hear such an explosion occurring. Hold on a second. I want to see that again. Can we just stop and appreciate it? Oh, even the buddy's scared. Hey, I get it, man. This is a dirty job, because the dirt is... <laughs> all right, all right, I'm sorry. But you see, it even works with spawn eggs. So if we just spawn in real quick... <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like it's like playing Minesweeper, except except not at all. But you know, whatever. <laughs> this is fun. Well, can we do something like that somewhere? In fact, I think we can. Hey guys, you want some new neighbors? What's well, good? <laughs> That's what you get for wanting seven emeralds for a pair of pants earlier. Oh, what do you have for trade? Oh, nothing. Doesn't want to trade me. You might want to trade on this. Ooh, pig. Delicious, friendly, never done anything wrong to me. Boom! <laughs> that was awesome. Oh man, I'm not an insane person. How about in here? Hi. Okay. Uh, yeah. Where am I? Huh? Am I good? Are we good? Is there a door? Where's the door lead? How do I? How do I get out? Oh gosh. This is not okay. Perfect. <laughs> so I have my way. We'll be back. Ugh. Disgusting. And they knew they were having guests over, and they decided not to clean up. It's embarrassing. Okay, so next up is opposite zombies. We're gonna switch things over tonight so that these guys have time to shine. Opposite zombies are fast and love placing doors everywhere. They're quite cute. Some would say they're... <sighs> All right, Caleb. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's worth it. Let's look at this guy. He's so friendly. Oh my gosh. Yo, the ultimate fan of knock-knock jokes? Hold on a second. Look at you. You really want to share this with me? Wow, I even think I saw a half door pop up somewhere. Man, the ultimate discount. Check this out. Still works mostly as planned. Hi, you wanna, you wanna stop? There's not even a house around here, man. I, like, what do you want? Can we just, I'm gonna kill you. Come on, you die. Good, good, good. Now, it appears to be only oak doors that they drop. Low quality, I get it. It's just, you know, it's not something you wanna write home about. But what would happen if we spawned in like a billion? Oh God. <laughs> well, I should have figured. The ultimate, wow, I'm gonna hire these guys to build my next home. In fact, let's just, <laughs> oh gosh. This is maybe not a good idea. Look! Wow! The biggest maze! It's amazing! It's adorable. That wouldn't make sense. That's okay. There's just so much safety, please. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Stop! 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 I need to get on top of something. Distance! Yes! Ha ha ha! Wow, this place got so messed up. Now, in theory, you could actually make a fun zombie mob grinder for an auto maze generator at a moment's notice. This would be something else. Ah, much better. A nice sleep. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Why? What is this about? I thought they only show up at night. All right. All right. I get it. I get it. They want the attention. It's because number three is the opposite phantom. They spawn in when you sleep, of all things. And not only are they on fire, but... They don't appear to be taking any damage whilst being on fire. Oh, this sorry, right. Right. Good luck. That's not not something I want to hear when there's like flying fireproof beasts heading for me. Oh my gosh, what a nightmare, in fact. This is bad. They're annoying. Someone call them a phantom menace. Oh boy. Alright, let's move on, because I don't feel like dealing with those guys. We're gonna show you iron golems on opposite day instead. And on opposite day, they well, they attack villagers, so check this guy out, huh? Yo, he's got his eyes on something. Someone. Where's he headed? Wow, the most distant villager out over yonder. Why don't we give him a little bit of a closer bait, huh? Couple villagers here, couple villagers there. Instantly goes for them. Sad story. Also hates crops. Pretty sure I saw him cr trample one. Sad, really. Doesn't even want his rose like he normally- <laughs> It just makes quick work! Oh, gosh! Hey, you interrupted their conversation! That's pretty awesome. Okay, how about one that has some trades? These guys are innocent as far as I can tell. They're not trying to rip me off and doing anything. How about we move this guy in a different area instead? Or just let him do his thing, you know, not a problem. Where's he headed now? 
Is he looking on the ceiling? Hates roofs as well. Interior design, not a favorite of his. Okay, hold on a second. How do I even get in here? I'm pretty. Oh, I see. Yo, he's hiding. What's good? Oh, he closed the door. Doesn't he knows who's coming? You better try a little bit harder, buddy. No, that's it. That's all she wrote. He wants to. You really? Yeah, you think so? You think he's not gonna notice you there? Well, you're you're yeah, analyzing. Bye. How about a different golem instead? The snow golem, perhaps, on opposite. So, this big black beauty is made with opposite colored snow. And on top of that, you can actually use it to attack in a meaningful way for once. Namely, y'all ready? Check this out. Well, oops, I accidentally showed you another one for, for later. But <laughs> all you need to know is that he will shoot fireballs instead of snowballs. And it will actually deal massive fire damage. Why don't we spawn in something that doesn't burn in the daytime? Bring your favorite crewmate skins to life with some sweet new headgear. Captain hats, hunks of cheese, soul-sucking aliens, eh, the usual. Or maybe just a suspicious block of dirt. Get ready, because among us are hats. Out now on the Minecraft Marketplace. He is now a better defender of the village than the Iron Golem. This is I. I was gonna say this is awesome, but now you're gonna set me on fire, oh boy, it's not a good story. All right! Look at them all menacing over there. Oh, he's looking at me, we gotta move on. Okay, pigs, right. Pigs, right on top of you. Diamond. Ooh, hey, wait, it's, I can't reach it. I, why, why can't I get the diamond? Every time I move forward, it moves, oh. Oh. Well, this isn't fair. Anyways, they dangle diamonds in front of you to move control you. This, of course, doesn't work on a smart person like, oh. Right, yeah. I mean, he'd never fool me with this one. Just get off. No. Maybe I can get the di- Where's the- To move- well, Where's the diamond? Skeletons on opposite day. They aren't just bones, but also skin. Skinletons. That sounds gross. We can check it out. Hi. Oh, okay. Well, he still wants to attack, but he doesn't do it with a bow. He actually does it with a sword this time. So, uh, clearly still missing a brain. Otherwise, we'd be able to see it through his skull. But right now, it looks like this guy could use some serious nourishment. Enderman on opposite day. This one should be awesome as well. Now, again, instead of grabbing blocks, they'll place them instead. Because it's opposite day. <sighs> Get it? So they have blocks from the end and they get building. We're gonna spawn in a handful of, oh my gosh, that is a lot of endermen. And they all come equipped with their end stone. So with any luck, we should begin seeing these lovely endermen, I don't know, build me a palace of some sort. So I'm just gonna wait patiently until um, I get my palace. Hey, it's begun. That's all you're gonna do. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, it's been about a half hour and um, you know, this is about as close as they got. I don't even know how they managed to place this one in the air, but I figured we could use our uh, doorman over here, and between the two of them, we might have a house in, I don't know, 10 years? 2,000 years later. <sighs> well, it's worth a shot. All right, so our next location takes us to the end. Get ready, this is gonna be good. Oh, whatever. Oh, the nether. Great, for the blaze. Well, probably a little bit easier than the ender dragon. We'll see what this one does, though. Maybe it, uh, instead of doesn't kill you on opposite day, it just completely kills you instantly. Oh, wait. Opposite blazes are a bit more fluid than normal. Does that mean? Oh, should have figured as much. Okay, let me guess. Let me guess. I should have known. <laughs> that's funny. Yo, that's funny. They still, so they still catch fire in general, but they'll catch you on water. Very nice. Oh, yo, they thirsty for me. Look at their, look at their eyes are constantly on. This is good. Yo, literally shoot water at you. Also hate water. Also burn in water. Nothing they do makes any sense. <laughs> Seriously, water in the nether. That's illegal. All right, this next one's gonna make a splash. It's Wither Skeletons. It's gonna be awesome because on opposite day, Wither Skeletons have decided to be nice. Check it out. When they attack you, you actually get regen. Now, it's not the best regen because they can still Shrek you real good, but at least the regen lasts a solid 10 seconds or so. So as long as you get smacked by them once or twice and then, I don't know, retreat, in theory, it could be a net gain. In this case, he means serious bit. Come on, stop. So yeah, they heal you. How considerate. While this makes them consider it easier, they can still... Well, I could have known that about 20 seconds ago. Let's move on. Next location. 
Ah, icebergs on opposite day. All right, class, today we're talking all about climate change. I'm just kidding. Cave spiders! Who cares about the environment? I'm just kidding. Cave spiders! They can't move quickly through cobwebs! See, watch. We'll, t we'll test it out. See? He ain't moving quickly. Whether he's in cobwebs or not. Can you... Hey. Hey. I'm... Okay. Maybe we gotta punch him first. Yes. Okay, good. Now, look at him. Well, he sucks. Yo, he's the worst. Embarrassment to his family. No wonder they outcast him to a deserted island surrounded by glaciers. I wouldn't want anything to do with you either. <laughs> You're not even gonna get my leftover baseball mitt. Seriously. You get nothing. Good day, sir. I, I was mad about that one at least. Oh, just noticed something cool. So when you punch on them, instead of poison, they also give you regen. Friendly. Okay, you're not an outcast. I changed everything I said. I still don't like you, but not an outcast. Okay, cows. <sighs> this one should be good. Cows now spawn in water. There's sea cows. Ah. Ah, spawn sea cow. Okay, maybe these are just placed by random. Oh. No. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well, number 14 is the Strider. Ooh, Striders on opposite day are much quicker out of lava. So we're gonna go ahead and saddle us up one. As you can see here, they're clearly distraught by their warm bubble bath. Look at him, he, he's not having a good time. Not at all, so sad guys, we get five likes. Let's see if we can get him more involved now, huh? Right on on there, Bubba, Hey, hey. And now he's less sad, see? He's less sad. He was more sad before. Now, less sad. And he moves at breakneck speed. I mean, he moves at okay speed. But hey, when you get on him and then right click on your goody, you know, the, the, the warped fungus on a stick? Check it out. Moves at a serious pace. Get on the water, moves uh, a little bit slower. If you notice there, he, he had a kind of an identity crisis where he moved faster for just a blip of time. And then he slowed his roll because he knew his position in this hierarchy of the nether. But you get back on here and things pick up in a major way. Yo, that's exciting. But it's okay. No, you don't get this. <gasps> this next area is beautiful. Oh, I bet the next mob is going to be just as beautiful. Oh, it's, oh. Okay, zombified piglin. Well, in the overworld, they apparently turn into regular piglins, which is what they oppositely do in on mode to opposite situations. So, oh gosh. Okay, yeah. Please don't attack. I have children. Minecraft. Nowhere else. Well, I don't. I'm not details. So it's interesting. If you bring a piglin from the Nether to the overworld, does it become a regular piglin? And then and then un and then zombify and then unzombify. I don't know. Did these just become the rarest undead pig breed in all of Minecraft? Probably. It's only, you know, one of those. All right, I've been waiting for this next one, guys. Ugh, it's gonna be so good. Opposite bees will kill plants. They also reset growing crops to the first growth stage. Wow, messed up. Can't wait to see that one. Okay, let's spawn one in. Oh, friendly. Kind of. Wow, this is actually how ancient civilizations all starved. It was just bees celebrating a, a made up holiday. Look, it's kind of, I'm a little upset. Yo, let's spawn it more. The havoc, the chaos. Oh my gosh. How are they supposed to eat? I don't understand. What, do they feast on like petals? Normally they pollinate. Now they're just they're strictly business, strictly business. Uh, yeah, yo, that's going nuts. Oh my gosh. All I gotta do is like fly nearby them near be them All right, I'll stop. Well, if it's opposite day, maybe I can attack one and they're all oh Nope, okay. That's not oh gosh. Okay. It's bad. Stop. Oh, just some wheat to save me, please Oh, he took it too. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it <sighs> Finally something a little bit more pleasant a husk on opposite day. Husks now spawn in snowy biomes instead of the desert. That makes sense for opposite day. So let's see what they do. Oh, yo, is instantly on fire. Okay. I, he's, wait, what is saturation? What the heck? Hold on. Well, he, he just, huh? Wait, let me see. So when he attacked me, I got saturation. You literally, when he attacks you, you heal. <laughs> no way. 
That's funny. Why do they keep dying so quickly? Yeah. So when they give you saturation, when they attack you, they give saturation, restoring hunger. Oh. Oh. But they always burn both day and night, so they don't live long. Wow. A rare sight for sore eyes. My goodness. Okay. Can we? Okay. Just, just so I can take it all in. <sighs> Lovely. Yeah, it's a shame he don't last too long because he makes for the warmest hugs, seriously. Next up is the Stray on Opposite Day. And they, of course, spawn in in deserts. Oh, it looks like he had a field day in this one, huh? Anyways, they wield speed arrows, which speed you up. Wow, friendly. Okay, hi. Oh, yeah, I got his 20-second speed boost. So they literally help you run from them when they manage to land a hit on you. Yo, the the nicest bad guy ever, he's like, hey, I heard you uh, were scared of me, so let me, uh, chop chop. Okay, hey, that's useful. I might actually keep these guys around my parkour courses. They could make a huge difference. Y'all ever seen those L boosts? If you time a, a good old jump, right as you get hit with an arrow, yeah, sometimes they can help you. Now, do they drop speed arrows as well? Ooh. Nah, opposite day, right as the arrow, that makes perfect sense. Even the arrows are celebrating. We got number 19 here, the ghast. Ghasts can't fly. Apparently we're gonna set one on fire, but anyways. And instead of shooting fireballs, they suck fire in. Yo, oh, this will be cool. Great for removing the burning hazard. Okay, let's see, with any luck. Oh, cool. Oh, cool, friendly. Literally inhales it. All right, let me. Eat on him, get it! Whoa, feeding him? But world's best dad? I need like a new mug or something that shows how much I care about this guy. Oh, here he left. Hey, finish your dinner! Much better. And so naturally on opposite day for number 20, we decided to do the opposite of tell you about it, which is just not tell you about it. The video 